Okay, welcome to this uh, three-part video. Um, in this uh, video series of videos, I'm going to uh, show you how to set up Ubuntu as a router uh, using Webmin and how to monitor traffic on a wireless router using Wireshark. Uh, let me show you on a graph what we intend to do. Um, say that you have a laptop at home, uh, you also have a wireless router at home, you usually have it connected there, and the wireless router would go directly to the uh, internet gateway that you have at home. Uh, what we want to do is to put a Linux server um, in the middle of the, of the, of the road there, and this Linux server is going to uh, uh, capture the information, the traffic that is going to pass through uh, using Wireshark. And uh, Webmin is the software that will allow us to uh, set the Linux server as a router gateway. Um, the initial conditions uh, that uh, we will start with um, are uh, internet access. We have an internet gateway there. We have a normal PC um, with two network cards. Uh, in my case, one is ETH1 and the other one ETH0. Uh, Linux is going to be installed on the PC. Um, in this particular case, I have uh, Linux uh, a Ubuntu uh, 1404, um, but I have tested this uh, on Ubuntu 1404 and Ubuntu Mate 1604, and it works. Um, this um, ETH, ETH1 uh, is already with uh, DH DHCP access to the Internet Gateway. In my case, the Internet Gateway has an address of uh, 192.168.2.1, uh, so the DHCP address is uh, 2.103, I think, in my particular case. By the end of this first part video, uh, we will uh, have a Webmin installed, and uh, by using Webmin, we will set the ETH0 card as a DHCP gateway with the address 10.1, 10.1 and a subnet uh, that is going to accept uh, uh, new connections. Um, let's, uh, let me show you now uh, here the what I just mentioned, the two cards that I have in my system. So, for instance, if I do a if config, uh, the ETH0 card is not, uh, doesn't have an IP address yet. ETH1 it has the address 192.168.2.103 and is the one that is going to be our gateway to the internet. And these are the only two cards that we have configured at this point. Okay, uh, let's do a little bit of a pause, and the next uh, step would be to do the um, software installation and software configuration of Webmin. 